Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a water marble candy cane inspired by my friend Manny Paws. I'll be using Joy Lacquer and this one is a mini mystery pro prototype. Having trouble talking today. And it's just a beautiful jelly with some flakies in it. I am loving on this. It's an excellent polish. The formula is really, really good on it. This is one of the ones that my friend um, Kim sent me. I had to break it out. So that's the first coat. We are going to go in for a second coat and maybe a third. We'll see. Um, jellies normally, I normally do at least three coats with jelly polishes. Um, either that or layer them over a similar color. But I really wanted the squishiness of this one to be jelly. Hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. Good job. So there we go. Two coats. Gorgeous. I am going to go in for that third coat. I figured I would. Um, I just figured it would be a good thing to do. So, um, my friend that sent me this, Kim, asked me how this compares with China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And they're two totally different animals. <laughs> I'm going to top it with some fast and hard top dry, top, quick dry top coat. Get your words together, girl. So, um, Ruby Pumps is more glitter, whereas this is more flakies. And this definitely leans a little bit more orange than uh, Ruby Pumps. So that's the differences there. I've got a swatch photo of this one by itself coming up. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. So I'm going to be using the IMK Protect Peel because um, I'm going to do some water marbling today. I'm being very careful. I'm, I did speed this up so um, it may look like I'm just slapping that stuff on there but I am being quite careful. Because um, I don't like it getting on my polish. But I do want to get that finger pretty well covered up. Up to that first, uh, or what is that? Uh, the knuckle. Whichever knuckle. Um, because when I water marble, I definitely get messy. And I always go past wherever the protect peel is. But that's okay. Because we know how to clean that up too. I do water marble in a, I think it's a three ounce, like bathroom paper cup. Um, see, just like that, regular old water. And I'll be using simple colors, Snow Me White, and um, Dainty Digits Clearly Marvelous. It's now baby girl lacquer. But I'm gonna do a couple of dots of um, white. I'm gonna run that toothpick around the cup to make that spread all the way but I'm going to do a couple of drops of snowy white and then clearly marvelous and then some more snowy snowy white I am going to build up a bullseye like I normally do now back to this um, inspiration my friend Manny Paws posted on Instagram her manicure uh, that look that this came, look came from um, she used different products completely and she definitely positioned her uh, <laughs> stripes for the candy cane much better than I did. Um, I actually didn't figure out how I wanted it until I got to the very last nail, which is my pinky. And it is my favorite, but it's just, um, you know, trial and error. I really do love this manicure. It turned out great. It's just that I wanted more of a sideways candy stripe, and I was kind of having trouble figuring out where to dip in the design to get the look I wanted. Now I will leave um, Manny Paws Instagram handle down below in the comments so you can go check out her picture. Just go to her page and check hers out because it turned out gorgeous. She is um, a longtime supporter and friend of mine. She has uh, she has some of the most amazing manicures. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Her nails are beautiful gotta go check her out so here we go now you can see I'm still trying to clean that up mine are just kind of they're just I don't have them positioned right that's the only issue at all that I have with this manicure um, but that's trial and error you know it's just that's what water marbling is all about 
I really do like this idea, though, and if time wasn't up, I would probably have to redo this one and, and try to get it more right. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to dip that fingernail. See, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm like, well, where do, where do I need to dip? <laughs> ah, they still look like candy canes to me. I mean, they're not... They're not what I wanted to do. They went in close like Jennifer's, but they still look candy cane enough. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that. I can't remember what base color she used, but golly, it was gorgeous. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could use any red. You could use a red cream. You could use a red glitter bomb. And just anything. Um, and get this to, to, to do. It would be an excellent combo is what I'm saying, what I'm thinking. And this design's real easy because you're just taking it and going up to the top and down to the bottom <clears throat> and making some lines. There we go. Getting that excess off the top real quick because we do not want that falling back on to the design. So there we go. And I do use a toothpick to go around the edges and kind of break the seal of that water, water marbled polish because I don't want it coming up when I pull the latex up. I have had that happen. It doesn't happen all the time, but it has happened. So there we go. And we're building yet another bullseye. <laughs> Five's a charm, right? <laughs> I love it. I love water marbling. It's just one of my favorite things ever. And I had to use this prototype from Joy Lacquer. It's just so gorgeous. I had to use it. I am using <clears throat> two drops of the Clearly Marvelous at the end because the one just kind of leaves it kind of foggy looking. So if I put two in there, I, you know, I'm able to figure it out you know, how to get that to open up and, and not be foggy looking. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, I did booger up my thumb, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to kind of patch that. I'm just taking the brush and covering it up with the polish. And then I'm going to break up in the joy lacquer again and Clean that other spot up there that I messed. I messed it. I messed it all up. But there we go. <clears throat> I apologize with all the clearing the throat. I've got sinus issues like crazy. I'm just grateful that that's all it is right now. So this is how I do my cleanup when I, like, you know, go way past the barrier, <laughs> which I almost always do. And then I'm going to do some tidying up with the cleanup brush and acetone. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do because of the latex barrier. I really do like the IMK's barrier. I thought it works really good and it comes off real well. I got a little piece trying to bug me right there, but we're going to get it too. There we go. So there we go. Continuing on with some cleanup. And I'm a ninny about this cleanup, y'all, I swear. But for me, it makes me enjoy my manicure so much more to do, do you know, a thorough cleanup. I, I, I just, you know, feel better about it and enjoy it more. I don't want to put that top coat on and seal stuff down around my cuticles and sidewalls and stuff. This is how I do it. I know normally I only show y'all one. I don't know why I'm showing you all of them. <laughs> Getting a little carried away here. Like the video wasn't going to be long enough. <laughs> Just crazy. I'll be using the Born Pretty. I know I normally use this, the Smudge Free Top Coat. I normally only use this when I stamp. But since these are white lines, I wanted to make sure I didn't just get smearage all over the place. And I'm sorry, the camera's, there we go acting a little more right. There we go. We're going to top it with some posh top coat. 
and seal this in. I really, really love this one. I love, I love the look of it. And it was fun to do. But I would love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below and tell me your thoughts. I always love hearing what you think and chatting with you. Here's my swatch photo. So there you have it, sport fans. <laughs> that is all I have for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.